Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Karlberg. Today we're going to be having a look at the Euro Swiss franc. So the Euro of course has been beaten down pretty much um, since the start of the year in the Russia in Ukraine conflict and this has largely been because of high levels of inflation relating to energy prices and strong recessionary pressures that have built up over a, a uh, this period of time. However, we have started to see some potential signs of a reversal or a bottom. Um, and today we're going to be having a little bit of a deeper look. And this can be a result of the weaker yields and also a lowering uh, or a dropping of the US dollar or just a softer US dollar that we've seen in recent times with perhaps also a bottom in on the US equities markets and just a pullback in the US dollar. So as we have move over to the charts, what we can see is that we're going to zoom out a little bit. Just bear with me, guys. And we can see we've really, um, we'll just make this a little bit bigger. So we've fallen at these um, 2015 lows. Just make a line there fell way through those the uh, COVID support levels. But we haven't been able to break through this 2015 level uh, yet. We've found a seen a strong bounce. And then just having a look a little bit above that, we're looking at the 1.26 level um, as that kind of top of the range. As we come a little bit back down, uh, we can see our next kind of resistance level is 1.2. And that leads us to this point here. So we're just going to reset our chart a little bit. And we've got some pretty strong signs that we might have seen a reversal. So the first thing we can tell is that we've got this big red candle that ducked below um, this support level and was immediately bought up on pretty significant volume, um, which is pretty significant. And it shows that perhaps we've had that final bit of exhaustion. And sorry, let me just adjust the scale. So we can see we've all this volume has been soaked up and the buying has just continued and we've actually broken back above this um, support level, which is a really significant sign. We've bounced off the lows of the, you know, we've bounced off these oversold areas, which is also pretty significant and is similar to when we were last at this level. So we are definitely in the midst of a potential reversal. Now, as we move into the daily chart, just to see our targets a little bit more clearly, we also come up with a pretty significant um, indication that we might be ready to reverse. So the first thing that we can see is we've got some kind of resemblance of a reverse head and shoulders pattern, which is again a pretty strong indication that we may see a reversal. And uh, the neckline that we have to break is at about 98,258. So that's really our first level to break. And we are approaching that pretty closely. Also, let's just have a look at this volume that came in on the 13th of October, which is obviously very significant. So the first, our first target is definitely at the one, the parity level at one. And then from there, we are looking to get to potentially, maybe we might see a pullback. And then hopefully to get to 105. Alternatively, we may break down and actually not be able to break out and fall back to the 0 0.96 level. But there you go, guys. Um, if we are able to, I think specifically this point here, if we can retest this point, it poses a really good risk reward for us, um, not just for that first target at one at that parity level but if we were to go above and take that out we have a really good risk reward of about three if we do get this retest so euro swiss franc definitely want to watch and hope you guys enjoyed the video and good luck trading